Hey guys, thanks for watching Dee Croy on YouTube with my favorite groomer. This lady has come in with um, this baby. I feel like there's a collar in here, man. You can't even see it. And this is Nina, and she actually uh, was nicked by a groomer. Um, then she had a cone on her head. This is a par parent story for me. Uh, had a cone on her head while the ear was healing. And um, so she wants me to leave the dog long on the body and sh this is all matted in here I can tell you that right now so I'm gonna go ahead and try to take all this off and not nick the ear again because it's matted and this ear feels like it was literally cut off which is poor thing so uh, the body she wants kinda long we'll just have to see what we can work with here um, but she's had a cone on her head for a minute so that's why it looks like her ears are, are pretty matted so I'm gonna I'm going to raise this up. She's kind of pushing herself down, but her, she needs to stand up, you know what I mean, so that we can really see what we're working with here. I'm going to put this all the way down and see if this will work for her. Barely. She, she, yeah, that'll work. She's on her tippy toes. So I'm actually going to, um, so that for, for the sake of time, I'm going to come in with my tin and try to clean up this ear without hurting her, okay? Ear is completely matted, man. Okay. Alright. She's already had her ear nicked once, you know what I mean? So matted, you guys. You can't even see an ear. Not see her ear. Like I can't even tell what the start is or the beginning is or nothing. Yeah, her ear was totally taken off here it looks like so hopefully after we get this off uh, we won't cover in here matted again right okay and mom was wanting to keep it long and I'm just gonna she's gonna have to see that some of this might not work out to her advantage this time around there's only so much you can do and uh, we're not dematting this stuff this is this is how it got to this point to begin with so uh, I told mom I'll have it on video. There's nothing that I'm not going to show you. But she had said she wanted uh, long and all this, and I just doubt it. I, this is not going to happen right now. So the, the ear isn't just matted. It loops into the face and the cheeks, okay? So this time around, it's just going to be a little... It's all up in the face here, man. All this is matted. Okay, and I'm speaking so that you guys can kind of see what I'm dealing with. And hearing what I'm dealing with. Um, I'm here to fix it, but I'm not gonna. It's just gonna be short, man. This is all matted in there. Can you tell? Look at all that. And she, I know she wanted this beautiful puppy head and all this stuff. Well, sometimes, I mean, this is, look at this. This is just not just the ear, it's the whole side of her cheek. So I'm gonna save that. All right. And this ear is completely matted too. Let me let me go into this. You, uh, it's very important to brush these dogs out um, on the regular. And if it's this matted, it's really hard for a groomer to see the ear. So I'm making no excuses when I mean you have to just be careful and not nick this ear. But you cannot see the ear, man. I'm so sorry, baby. You can't see the ear. And, and uh, the black hair is just it doesn't help. It's very uh, hard to tell. Look at that ear right there. That's a whole ear, okay? So I'm going to try to do the best I can with this cute head that we're wanting to do. But I want to be realistic too. So the whole underside of this chin is matted. So I'm going to take it off like this. And try to just hide with this uh, hair here. If you cannot run a comb through the hair, then it is, it's pretty knotted up and you got to brush. And if, you, and if it's like this, which I'm going to take it out here in a minute, if it's matted, there's no, 
There's not a lot of cuteness you can leave. This is her entire chin here. It's all matted, okay? You want to grab my phone and real fast and do a quick one? You leave that, um, just do a quick one for the mom so I can text it to her while I finish up some of the face. And you're getting your eyeballs here. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. I'm ready when you are. Let me know. Just a real quick one so we can text it to her. Cool. Okay. All right, Mom. So uh, I just got all these mats. One was her, her ear connected to her neck. And one was uh, her other ear. And one was her chin. Chin hair all matted. And I know you wanted this cute face and everything, but this time around it probably is not going to work for you. Um, we can work on it, but like right here, I just wanted to capture this is still all matted in here so this is all matted in there so we're just gonna have to do what we can today okay thank you for watching okay if you don't mind her phone number's on that this file right here you can yeah, text it to her all right so she wants this is not I would just do short everywhere but this is not what this mother was saying but I did tell her if she's all matted I'm gonna take the mats down and you can let everything else grow, grow into grow into where it needs to go So the neck is all matted here, okay? If it were my dog, I would totally just take a shave down to her and, and start over. That's just my opinion. But we're gonna work with it and it's just gonna have to be a little loppy, lopsided this time. Cause she had, um, hold the jawbone and stuff. You've got to have something to work with here. This is all matted right here where, where maybe the cone was that she was explaining. Oh, mad dude. What's up, baby? No, no, no. Okay. She's very. It's um. She's looking down a lot, moving her head. I'm trying to take only the mats out, so and fade it in like this. It's gonna look interesting, but if I can make that even happen, this is her whole neck. Okay. I'm like, I wouldn't be saving nothing, man. I'm going to get it all off. Let's start over, and we're going to start brushing every day. We'll see what we can do. And I'm not, I got very little um, time right now for the rough in, so I'm going to just. I'm gonna try two. I'm going with the two. Such, you know, it's two. Yeah, whatever, man. There's mats everywhere. Little mats everywhere. Is it okay? Your clipper here. There you go. Stand up. There you go. Stand up, honey. It's all matted in her armpit. Mom was like, everything on the dog is good except for the neck and the face. That's exactly what I was told. It's not accurate. So, I should be able to run a decent comb through here. This is all matted in here. This is, all, this is why you gotta have proof. Somehow show your clients what, what's real and what's not real. 
so that we all have the same expectations. So I don't, no offense on anybody, I just don't always believe everything I hear on the phone because then it puts you behind or, you know, uh, what you're anticipating. So someone will be like, oh yeah, my dog's not matted at all. Well, there's a lot of questions to ask and what the definition of a matted dog is, you know what I mean? So just don't get mad, just be like, okay, we'll see. Let me just see what's going on when you get here. put her up a second and I'm going to actually call mom and myself and just explain that trying to save all this is not worth it. Thanks for watching. All right. We got permission to do a, you got to stand up, sweetie. We got permission to do a shorter cut based off of all this mats. Thank goodness. So here we go. Let me uh, clean this off here. Alright, now I have the ability to kind of work with her without feeling under pressure, especially with all the mats and everything. So I'm going to come through and clean out all these mats first. I'm going to go reverse because I can't really see. And just, I'm not going to go to the skin yet. We want these really cute looks, but we have to maintain them. Um, we, ha we have to, you know? This is all matted here, man. Like down our chest and everything. This is matted. I keep saying that because I was told it was not matted. You understand? So this is matted. You gotta brush. You gotta be able to run a comb through the hair. So brushing every day is key. Very, very much key, man. Feeling their legs here. So armpits are all matted in there. So do what you can to go easy because you can't even see, man. Everything's so dark, you know. Oh, oh, you're good. You're good. She's doing really good with it, though. You gotta get all the mats out of there. It's like, am I still trying to save something here? I know, right?
I'm gonna come with my four bar and see if I can get kind of make that a little even everywhere. We, I think we initially had done a two. I'm going to fade in the neck and then see what I can do with just making it kind of, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me see how cute it can go. No, 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 no. She's lifting herself up. Let me see. No, no. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. I gotta go down your arm here. Don't get mad at me. Let me see this one. You need to stand up though. It would help if you stand up, sweetie. Come on, Mary. You gotta stand up. Stop. 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 She's not liking her arms mess. Eh, 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 eh. Don't bite me. I know it, but if you bite me, I'm gonna bite you back. What are we doing with your face, girl? Let me go. No, don't. No, no, no. I don't know what you're doing, but stop. Let me see. I'm going to do four reverse here. Okay, okay. Still matted in there. Change out my ten. You're not shaking, but you're moving fast. It's dangerous. You gotta chill, man. There you go. Work with me here. There you go. Yes. There you go. Oh, I'm matted. Okay, let me see. Feeling for mats in here. No. 
No, no, look forward. Look forward. No. No, look forward. Look forward. Look forward. No. No. I know. I know it. Yeah. No, no. Look forward. Look forward. She's not liking that one. Okay, we're almost done here. After I get her bathed and everything, I'll be able to see more of kind of what we're working with. Just to get her coat cleaned up. It's just still matted over here, man. No, man. She's squirmer. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Hold the jawbone and really have control because you can really hurt a dog if you're moving her face too much. Hold this bone and pull up here so you're not hurting her, but you have some. You have to have some control. No, she does not like that. Stop. Stop. I'm going to come, no, no. I'm going to come this way and cut through these mats here. Let me see this side. Don't move. Let me cut. I got my mat breaker. No, sweetie. No, no. Hold yourself up here. Stand up. Don't, don't. Let me work these out. Just brush every day, you guys. Every day. <laughs> every day you must brush, unless you want to do a summer cut shave down all year. Then, hey, no, no maintenance. No, I'm so sorry, but I have to brush it for you now. Yeah, I have to do, like, months of work here. Get in here. No, no, no. And let's see how easy that is. If you just chill for a minute, thank you. Just chill. Watch your eyeballs. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. I'm going to have David really clean this up in the bath. It's a lot of eye boogers there. Okay. We're good to go, we'll be back. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to clean this up a bit. I'm looking for my leave-in conditioner bottle. It's like, David put it over here. Let me know when it dies so I can just better. Okay, just a little bit so I can work with the hair here. I'm actually going to go backwards with the brushing. No, you're okay. So I can kind of see what's all uneven. And David had a point, he's like, this is seriously got Maltese in it. And look at the white foot. I bet there is Maltese moving, jumping. It's definitely um, common, right? Stop, sweetie. Unpredictable, you know what I mean? Which can be scary for a groomer, so training is essential. Stay. And we did see, like, looking at the ear closely here, they, they did nick like half the ear off and they didn't say anything. Sad. Very, very, very sad. If you nick an ear off, you guys, you got to tell the owner. You may not want to admit it, but you, ha you have to, okay? I understand it's really hard to have to say that, but you have to. So what happened was the ear got cut off and it got infected, and that's why they went to the vet, and the vet was like, oh, your groomer cut half the ear off, or, you know, the, 
this is hearsay, but half the year is off, and, and I'm not hearsay, but this is what the owner's telling me. So if that's truly what happened, then if you nick an ear, if you cut off an ear, I don't care how bad you feel, you have to say something, and then you have to cover the vet bill, okay? That's why you get insurance. If you're a groomer and you're starting to groom, you need insurance. Talk to me about that if you need it, but you need some insurance to protect your workmanship, which is protecting the dog in the long run. Poor thing, though. Okay. But that's why it's really easy to judge a crazy-looking dog like Cotton jumping all over the table, but it is not easy to groom a crazy jumping-around-the-table dog. It is very hard. But if you nick a dog, you need to say something. Or if you are worried or scared or you can't handle that dog, please, please let a different groomer groom that dog. Okay, we're doing a four now. I'm going to try to see if I can get... the hair looking okay by leaving the neck and everything like that. and down and you'll see I'm fading it which is like layers of hair going down to the length that you're coming out right because I had to go short in some areas so I'm just trying to keep it where it's like four and then we'll have a little bit of grow out on the neck for a week and then it'll look all right and because of the moving it could be a dangerous situation so use your guards more than you would scissor make sense Too much movement. I mean, it's, it, a dog like that can easily be nicked. Just moving around, looking around, jumping, you know, doing all that. It's just uh, kind of wild. Okay, so I'm going to do a five guard, which is really close to just putting this just a tin on the dog. But and the five guard's teeth are pretty open there, so um, you can you can pull in skin there. Okay, so be really careful. Again, set your guard on, lay it on there, and then pull that hinge up. I'm going to do a five guard down the legs here, which she hates, right? <laughs> you got to let me work it here, girl. You're, okay, we're not doing that here. No, no. Say to yourself. I'm not liking the sound of that. Let me switch tins. Okay, so forget the five guard. I'm going to use uh, a seven instead. And I'm actually going to control her neck because of all the moving. It's too much moving. No, 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 no. We can't do that, man. We're not going to play games. Come on. I've got to hold on. Just no. Put your feet down. Put your foot down. Look at her. She doesn't want to put her feet down. So I'm going to grab her arm then, and, and I'm going to pull her forward a little bit. No, no. It's one or the other. I've got to hold your head or your arm. 
No, no. No, no. Do not get mad at me. Hey, do not get mad at me. This is not going to work. I'm actually holding her up a little bit. Hold up. Real quick swipes here. Fighting the whole thing. I'm barely trying to like touch her, just trying to get that seven to capture some of that hair. She is fighting the whole time. I don't know if you guys can tell, but kicking, pulling, jerking, twisting, all this is happening. If I pick her up, she puts her foot, it's like an argument. Same, if I move, she'll come over here, watch her move her foot. She tried to move away, right? She's smart. She's smart. She's fighting it.
Hello, flower. Stop, stop. 
up here. Move, don't move. Okay. We have to go short here, remember, because the other side's matter, so I'm trying to even up the two sides of the face here. No, got to stop now. Okay. Makes you almost want to do like a schnauzer face, you know. So do you see at all how, um, might be hard to see because of my camera, but it's a tiny bit choppy. She's so cute, right? Okay. Tiny bit choppy, so I'm actually going to come up and go, I'm actually going to do, finalize it with a two bar reverse. It captures a bunch of little stuff that going down didn't. It'll make, and it's just going to smooth it out a little bit. So we did a four bar down, two bar reverse, okay? All of them need to be trimmed, but some of them just tipped. Oh. 
I do know you want to bite me when it comes to your nails. No, chill, man. Chill. Chill. I can feel it. Chill. You need to chill. 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 You are fine. Stop. Stop. for smoke. All right, y'all, this is what we got. I'll do a, a close-up here in a second. All right. So I would love to have detailed this up a bit more, but she's moving around way too much. So we're going to finish up here. Uh, we did a, a bunch of different things to try to make her look kind of cute and still have a coat. Hopefully we won't, won't be coming in again with mats. And, uh, oh no, I know, we're all done. Yeah, yeah, she's a little wild. She's a one, one and a half or one year old baby. So she's still young. Uh, definitely has that Maltese flavor of moving around, jumping and doing all that, which is very hard to groom. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for coming and uh, shopping with us, building your orders with us, and um, believing in uh, what I do and asking me questions. And no, no biting. I know they're probably you're probably playing, but that's not okay. No, no. Just really excited now because I'm talking. All right, so we are good to go, and I'll come back and talk to you guys in a little bit. Thanks for watching. This is Nina. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm so excited now. Now let's take a look at your coat real close, okay? We have some work to do, so we'll grow out the face, hopefully grow out the ears. She's not gonna let us, not gonna stand still. It's super soft, that's key, it's super soft. It's really hard to capture the black coat on online, but it's got a, it's so pretty. Uh, on the camera, yeah, hi, look at me. Nina, look at me. Yeah, hi baby, look at your face. I really would love to just tidy it up a bit more, but we have some, we have some training to do, right? We have some brushy, brush training to do? Look at your poor ear, baby. So the ear is just a little, this is the ear that was cut, you know? So you can tell the hair, uh, it's not like the other one. Come here, look at me. See how the other one folds in front of you and the other one doesn't? Yeah. I know, look at your face. Look at your face, yes. All right, bye. Thanks for watching. Hey, you guys, I just want to clarify, uh, I got some more information on Nina. You can go get that one. Uh, the Nina situation is, so the mom took the dog to a groomer, a local groomer here, and they nicked the ear. It was not a bad nick, I don't think. A couple weeks in, I mean, the hair was still matted. They didn't quite get the face completely done. So the mom who works from home, so she's got her dog around her all the time, noticed like, wow, what is going on with the ear? Pop two weeks after that groom is what she said. She started really messing with the ear and she could separate the hair and the skin and it was like the skin was just separating and there was pus. And she was like, oh gosh, I'm going to the vet. So she took the dog to the vet and then they had uh, removed all the mats to look at the ear and found that there was a nick there and the ear had died 
that part of the ear where the nick was at one point gotten so bad and infected that it eventually had died. So the they just said it's dead and they just tore like broke off that part of the ear that was already the skin was all dead. And then um, they had to take all that ear down to clean it and it was just a really really sad situation. So that started with a slight nick is what it sounds like, you know. So if you're a groomer and you nick a dog um, maybe, you know, maybe that groomer really didn't know she nicked it because the ear was still matted. Like maybe they didn't really clean out all the mats. So just double check your pets when you get home or before you even leave, double check your pets in all cases, in all groomers, even with me. Uh, you want to know what's going on with your animals and man, if they would have caught that sooner, they probably wouldn't have had to sever so much of that ear. So it wasn't that the groomer had cut the whole ear off. Okay, let me take that back. But it was because of the nick that the old the half of the ear had to be uh, it was lost okay so I uh, just wanted to clarify that and thanks for watching and I, I just love to give you guys the information I get from the client very rarely am I making stuff up I've gotten the information from the pet parent so thanks for watching and supporting my channel and I'll talk to you later